I touch down in France at 3 p.m. local time and I check into the best hotel that I've ever stayed at and I totally pass out because I'm jet lagged. But then I wake up at 9 a.m. and I have the most delicious room service in the history of the world. And then I'm off. I check out the local flower market, which smells better than perfume, but doesn't bother my allergies, and a cute guy starts chatting me up. Turns out he arranges flowers. He's stupidly handsome, and when he asks if he can see me later, I say, maybe. I get into a 1964 Alfa Romeo because I'm not basic and this is my dream. I have a private driver, she's hot too, everyone's hot. Suddenly, I'm a glamorous 50s movie star driving along the beautiful Coast du Jour. The view is unbelievable on the coast and I'm finally relaxing into vacation mode. I'm gonna ignore that. I hop out and lay on the beach, tanning. I mean browning, or, well, absorbing enough vitamin D to last the New York winter. This may be the most perfect place on Earth. But then I think, this is France, and I need chocolate, right now! I run off the beach and into the cutest patisserie. Je voudrais manger, mm, je voudrais tout manger. Merci! I try all of the pastries, and they're all free, and have zero calories at all. Amazing! down to the pier, and there's a yacht and a yacht party waiting for me. All white everything? Jay-Z, eat your heart out. Everyone is so happy and charming and shiny. We're also maybe a little tipsy, but no one's embarrassing, and it's a perfect way to view the sunset. And who's that? Mm. It's the very same devastatingly handsome flower boy. That's just the first day. 